How do you guys? Uh, developments on Super League. Now, what I'm reading, I'm reading this off of the BBC Sport website because it cropped up on my news feed uh, only a matter of minutes ago. So I'm doing this one ad hoc. So it says that there is some possible movements. Now, the Super League's top 12 uh, clubs are aiming for the August restart for the league, which sounds promising. So that would be something brilliant so it's kind of like it works in with where i was thinking where i thought that it would end up being as well sorry about the lighting i'm doing this very quick so because i thought it was going to be july into august so it works out about right uh now i'm just going to read it read some snippets out for you so the Super League clubs have drawn up plans for the possible for the return of top flight action by mid-August. Twelve sides are hoping that matches can be played in front of limited crowd numbers from the 1st of October. So at least it's not going to be all lockdowns and all empties. It will be kind of like, you know, probably about a third full or half full, which no offence for us, half full. 11, 12, 11, 12,000 on average isn't too bad. For some of the other teams with smaller stadiums and stadiums that might be a bit more cramped, I don't know how they're going to work that one out. Non Super League games that have, yeah, no Super League games have been played since the 15th of March. Uh, also, the three models for fixtures have been put forward which would see the season end but in a grand final either the 28th of November or 12th of December or mid-January of 2021. So again, it's going to be an extended one with still no full idea of what's going to happen with the Challenge Cup on that one. Now again, all this does all hinge on how the virus moves around and everything like that as well as hopefully that the numbers stay low and there is not going to be a massive curve going back up again so it is a bit optimistic that some people have said to in front of crowds by a certain date but that can be planned and underlines at any restart would be subject to the government's approval and are committed to all possible medical protocols as well so what do you guys think on that because it is the better it would work, the sooner that they get things into motion and get some form of pathway to get it back and started, even if it is behind closed doors and free to air or live streamed or whatever, at least there is options for people to be able to watch it and for us to see it, even though it doesn't, nothing feels the same unless you're actually in the ground yourself. Now, I'm going to read through the particular ideas of the three models that they've come up with. So the how fixtures would work. So model one would see nine rounds of matches between the 1st of October and 15th of November with a one playoff semi-final and a grand final on the 28th of November. Under that plan, the Challenge Cup would restart with the sixth round in late August and the final round is the 28th of the 25th of October, sorry. So one idea. Model two is that there would be 11 rounds after the 1st of October and a grand final on the 12th of December and the Challenge Cup final uh, on the 8th of November. Both model one and two would involve five rounds of midweek matches as well as weekend matches. So mix, mix, match, mix and match. I'm staging it out a little bit further, we never know. Model 3, which is the most ambitious one, with 15 rounds of games being played from the 1st of October, culminating in the Grand Final in mid-January 2021, and the Challenge Cup Final on the 28th of November. Now, that would be set and mainly weekends, but with four midweek rounds of fixtures in there. Now, with this one, there is a bit of additional on there as well. So option three would require approval from Sky Sports, create poten creating it, which creates the potential problem with some players' contracts only running to November of this year, which would impact on next season as well, which is currently due to kick off on the 28th of January. So it would mean then that next season would then have to be 
pushed back a little bit so with this gap that's happened it is going to stutter it over a bit so there is going to be a bit of a clash there especially with the idea of there being those contracts which still haven't been meshed yet along with what's going to happen with the world cup because that's coming up soon too so that's going to be another little sticking point and another thing that needs to be uh, looked at and possibly addressed with how we can flow and stretch that out as well at least they've addressed the idea in there with the challenge cup finals and how they're going to introduce it so which way is best for you do you reckon that we do you think that we need to have everything condensed as close as possible or spread it out so that there's a bit more recovery time and it spreads it out and is a bit easier but it then creates an additional problem later down the line of what happens with next season how is that going to affect it is that going to get stuttered is that going to get a bumper is something going to need to get buffed out here or there so i'll leave that one for you now as always stick any suggestions or any comms down below in that comment section smash that like button always subscribe and i'll see you again in some other time so it's from me it's peace out